Odds are you've seen this medication called Ozempic being mentioned all around social media platforms such as TikTok and Instagram as the new weight loss drug. In fact, it's recently been published in the New York Times as the new wonder drug. What the heck is Ozempic? How does it work? And is it actually the new silver bullet for weight loss? We'll be talking about all of those things, including the truth about Ozempic in today's video. So what the heck is Ozempic? Ozempic, also known as semaglutide, is a medication in a class of diabetic medications known as GLP-1 agonists that have been FDA approved for the treatment of type two diabetes. And oh yeah, it also has an effect on weight loss, which is the whole purpose of watching this video. Because of its significant effect on weight loss, many individuals have been using this medication off-label for weight loss. Off-label simply means that a healthcare provider has decided to prescribe a certain medication for a particular use that has not been approved by the FDA. In order to understand why this medication has been so popular as of late, I think it's worth exploring a little bit of how Ozempic actually works. Like I mentioned before, Ozempic is in a class of diabetic medications known as glucagon-like peptide-1 or GLP-1 agonists. GLP-1 is a hormone, a naturally occurring substance in the body that is produced in the small intestine. Now, GLP-1 has a variety of different roles such as insulin secretion, which allows cells to take up sugar and inhibits glucagon secretion in order to lower overall levels of blood glucose. Hence why this is a medication used for type two diabetes where excess sugar is a big problem. GLP-1 also delays gastric emptying, which is just a fancy medical term, meaning that less sugar gets released into the bloodstream after you eat something. GLP-1 also increases levels of satiety or how full you feel after eating. So in summary, Ozempic essentially works by acting as an appetite suppressant delaying gastric emptying, which leads you to consume fewer calories overall, which eventually leads to weight loss. So now that we know a little bit about how Ozempic actually works, especially in terms of weight loss, how is it actually used? Well, the beautiful thing about this medication is it's not actually a pill, but rather a painless injection or a shot that you give yourself only once a week. That's right, one shot once a week and you're good to go for the medication for the entire week and you don't have to think about it again. The starting dose is 0.25 milligrams and then that dose is titrated up to as high as two milligrams over a period of weeks. It's also been shown in studies that Ozempic, when used properly, can allow an individual to lose about 20 to 25% of their overall body weight. This is actually quite phenomenal and gets to the crux of this video. So I think at this point, it's important to debunk some myths about Ozempic and then dive into some of its side effects. And yes, unfortunately, every medication that you take has the potential to come with some unwanted side effects. If Ozempic does get prescribed to you, it should come with a nutrition plan, as well as facilitating the gold standards of weight loss, which include sleep, nutrition, and appropriate amounts of exercise in the forms of both strength training, as well as cardiovascular training, but let's be honest, none of us really like to do cardio anyway, right? Guilty of that. Ozempic by itself, without the addition of the staples of weight loss, will not allow you to lose weight. And there's a high chance that when you stop taking the Ozempic, you will gain all the weight back that you originally lost and then some. So it's really important to have these standards of weight loss in conjunction with the Ozempic. The dose of Ozempic should be titrated by a healthcare professional over a series of weeks in order to lose weight both effectively and safely. So the number one biggest misconception that I've seen when talking to individuals about Ozempic is a lot of people out there think they can just eat whatever they want while taking the Ozempic and they'll end up losing weight. Well, we saw before that Ozempic actually delays gastric emptying and makes you feel fuller significantly faster. Because of its modulation on insulin and glucagon, you cannot eat your normal portion sizes while taking this medication. If you do, it will lead to a lot of the unwanted side effects that come with this medication, including abdominal pain, nausea, 
vomiting, diarrhea, and potentially constipation. This point is really important, so I will repeat it again. If you are taking Ozempic, you cannot eat your normal portion sizes that you would typically eat while not on the medication. That is, you have to restrict the amount of food that you eat in each sitting. This is why it's absolutely essential to have a good nutrition plan while you're on this medication in order to facilitate weight loss appropriately and do it as safely as possible with as few of those unwanted side effects as possible. The number two biggest misconception that I've seen about Ozempic is that people think you can just take this medication about a week or two before a big event such as going on vacation or a wedding. This is absolutely not the way the medication was designed and is intended to be used. And in fact, this can create a yo-yo effect of the weight loss where you lose a significant amount of weight while on the medication, but when you go off the medication, you not only gain all of that weight back, but then you actually gain additional weight on top of this. Not to mention as well, rapid weight loss can have detrimental effects on your overall health. So again, Ozempic should be treated as a tool in the patient's arsenal in order to achieve a desired weight. More importantly, Ozempic should not be the the first line in someone's weight loss journey. Reiterating what we talked about before, it's really important to have a solid nutrition plan, getting plenty of exercise as well as sufficient sleep. Finally, I would like to say that while being overweight does have a myriad of bad effects on your health, weight in and of itself is not the sole determinant of someone's health. BMI is a terrible measure of someone's weight and overall health, and just because the number on the scale may say that you're overweight doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you and it doesn't mean detrimental outcomes for your general well-being. Also, being overweight does not make you any less human, so please have kindness and grace on yourself as well as other individuals who are going about this grueling journey. Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of this video and I will catch you all on the next one.